So daily check with the 202 sweeper, we need to check um, for the air gap underneath the suction box. So we're looking for a five millimeter air gap. So what we need is the settings anvil, which is usually with the toolbox inside the cab, and we need a 17 millimeter socket. I should also recommend the use of a bump cap and some gloves as well, uh, particularly the bump cap because there are some sharp items when you're crawling around underneath the machine. Um, so what we're gonna do, uh, we need to drop the suction box, which we've already done. So you drop the suction box onto your three settings anvils, and then what you're looking for, you're gonna slide the anvil underneath, and we're looking for that five to 10 millimeter gap. Um, you've got three caster wheels, so you can see one on each side of the suction box, one on the back, what we can see here with this one, see the suction box is sat slightly too high on this side. We've got the settings anvil, which we can slide around underneath the box. The anvil's five millimeters, you can see there's a lot of play underneath. So all we need to do is loosen off the bolt here, loosen off here, and then the box should just drop into the correct position onto the, onto the anvil. So 17 millimeter socket. We're gonna loosen off at the pivot. And as you can see, now the box is dropping onto the anvil in the correct position. So yep, yeah, happy with that, you've got your five millimeters and then all we need to do now is tighten it back up. Make sure to remember the pivot point. And then what we need to do is do it for the other side and then for the caster wheel at the back of the suction box. Take out your anvil and then the box will hold next time you put it into sweet mode.